Hi everybody. I wanted to introduce you to the Desmos graphing calculator and go over some basics to start out using it. So even though this is a graphing calculator, it is still a regular calculator as well. So you can add, subtract, multiply, divide, do power, square roots, um, anything you would normally do on a regular handheld calculator. One part to help is there's this keyboard, so we want to show the keypad so we can see the operations that are in there. And then we can do something easy like 5 plus 3. You can see it gives the answer as 8. To get to the next line, I just push the enter. Um, I could do 3 times 98, and I can see the answer. Maybe like um, 1 fourth, right? And then I'm going to go over so I can say plus, and let's say I add um, 3 fifths. Immediately it changes into a decimal, but if you need a fraction, you click this little box over box and it turns it back into a fraction. So I can see it's 17 over 20. So this removes the need to be able to find the common denominator um, or do anything fancy like that or even reduction. So even as we get to bigger and more exciting math in the semester, so say maybe we have 250 divided by 475, instead of you having to go through and figuring out what could I divide by to simplify that fraction, I can hit this fraction key and it says it would be 10 over 19. I think that's super helpful as we go. As the math gets bigger and we're doing powers, um, a power that we use a lot is squared. So you can see there's an a squared. So let's say I wanted to do 5 squared. It's a shortcut key. If you want to do bigger powers, then you just hit the number and then we're going to hit this AB. So AB tells it to do an exponent. Let's say we do the power 4. I can see the answer. Sometimes we will do be, be doing more than one operation. So I'll use parentheses, just like you'll see parentheses in the problem. And maybe we'll say 1 plus 0 0.04. And then we're going to raise this. So I'm going to hit the AB. Um, let's do the 12th power. I got this decimal 1.6013221857 and notice this time the fraction key isn't there because it's not going to come back nicely into a fraction. So sometimes our answers will be decimals and that's perfectly okay. There are times that we can change it to a fraction and you'll see the little fraction button appear. If we can't change it back into a fraction then it'll just leave the answer as a decimal. Parentheses are really your friend. You want to use them as you're doing work. So if you look at the problem and it has parentheses, then when you put it into the calculator, then you also want to put the parentheses. So we want to enter things into the calculator exactly as we see them in the problem. All right, that's how we're going to get the right answer. Um, square roots. Square roots will come up. Um, if you get a square root, then you hit the square root button first. And then you hit the number underneath it. So let's say we have like um, 169, and it'll tell us the answer. Um, eventually, we will use the pi button. So we could hit like 32 pi, and it's going to go ahead and do the multiplication for you. Um, if you get to the point where you're like, there's something missing, there's an operation I want to do, and I can't find it, um, you can look over at the functions, and that will give you more things. So there are trigonometric functions, there's statistics. This um, does some distributions, that's what DIST stands for, is distributions, and then there's a miscellaneous for anything else that you can't find in there. So if you want percentages or if we need to do like maybe the third route, um, then you're going to find these in this particular menu. So you have to have the functions to get over there. If you want more letters, um, they're right here in ABC. So lots and lots of things in here. We will have more videos throughout the semester to guide us along, but this is the first initial introduction to the Desmos calculator.